Hey, what's up, people? Craig here, Crying Jags Music. Um, I know it's been a while. Um, just had a lot going on, and, and I actually really messed up my thumb. So I wasn't even able to play for, for about um, a good month. Um, but, but I'm back for now. And as you may have noticed, I went ahead and I invested in a tripod um, because there were some comments um, about the tilt of the guitar where you couldn't really see my fingers. So this should hopefully uh, alleviate any of that. So for this lesson, I'm going to try something a little different in that I'm going to deconstruct a song. So what do I mean by deconstruct? Um, I'm going to attempt to explain my thought process on how I go about breaking down and interpreting a song as I learn it and put it to guitar. So the first thing I usually do is just trust my ear, right? I go with my gut. And then if that doesn't work, I go straight for um, the bass notes or, or maybe um, any underlying notes I hear. All right, so maybe some high notes or whatever, right? Um, so for this um, lesson, I'm gonna do Someone You Love by Louis Capaldi. It came out in 2018, really don't know much about it. The album is hellish something, something, something or other. So I had heard the song when it first came out on the radio a few years ago and, and I liked it, um, but I didn't think too much of it and kind of went on with my life. Um, recently, my kids had put it on uh, one of their playlists and played it in the car and, and I really listened to it. And I was like, wow, this is, this is a really good song. And then it was like an ego worm. I, I, I just couldn't get it out of my head. Um, so here's what I like about it. it. The song is literally a piano and a guy with a killer voice, right? There might be some strings, but I, I can't really make it out. Um, and it's nothing overly produced. It's, it's, there's no autotune. It's just a guy with a great voice and a piano. Um, it's a beautiful song. Um, and it's refreshing. There should be more songs like that um, on the radio. Okay, so I'm going to play the beginning of the song. Okay. Okay, so right away I know that the song follows a 1-5-6-4 progression right off the bat. Um, what that means specifically, aside from the fact that the one is the dominant major chord and the six is the relative minor chord, um, other than that, I, I really don't know. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm sure someone can tell me in the comments. Uh, it, it's all good, I could search it out myself. I really just don't give a shit. Um, so all I know is that, for example, um, in the key of C major, um, the C would be, the dominant chord would be the one. And the A minor would be the six, would be its relative chord, right? So in the key of C major, uh, a one, five, six, four progression would be C, G, A minor, F. So this progression is extremely popular in 20th century music, um, mainly the last 50 years, I would say. Um, the late 60s, 70s, was fucking huge in the 80s, just about every song you heard had this progression either in the verse or the chorus or, or both. Um, and then it kind of leveled off, but it's still pretty popular in pop music today. So I'll, I'll give you a few examples, right? So um, late 60s, um, the Beatles, Let It Be in the key of C major. So it's like, a, when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Right. Um, to, I'm just going to riff right here. Um, you two's um, with or without you uh, in the key of D major, so it's like um. See the stone set in your eyes. See the thorn twist in your side. I'll wait for you. Um, the chorus of uh, "Take on Me" by Aha in the key of A major. Um, take. On me Take me on Right? Um, Glycerine by Bush in the key of um, F major um. Don't let the days go by Could have been easier on you You Serene. Um, I don't know, uh, the car is just what I needed um, in the key of E major, so it's like, um, I don't mind you coming here, 
wasting all my time, right? To, of course, probably the most popular one, which is Journey's Don't Stop Believing" in, in the same key. So it's not like a... Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world Right? Um, so I had this um, 80s mix going on in the car yesterday, and just two random songs have it. Like, um, I Remember You by Skid Row. Um, in the key of G, I guess it's like. Remember yesterday, walking hand in hand, love is innocent. I remember you till the sleepless night. Right to oh shit, even like um, Asia's heat of the moment. Oh. It was the heat. And on and on and on. Okay, so let's get back to this Someone You Love song. Okay, so disclaimer, I've already worked out this song prior to making this video. I'm gonna do another one where I'm deconstructing some random song in real time, all right? But I've already worked this one out. Um, anyway, so I know what a, a C major chord sounds like, um, and this ain't it. Uh, I knew it was somewhere between a C sharp and a D. But to indulge you guys, I'll try to recreate my process, all right? So I know it's on a C. Alright, so I got it. it. didn't take me that long. So I, I knew, again, I knew it wasn't a C major chord. Um, so I knew it was either a C sharp or, um, or a D. Um, and it's actually um, a C sharp. So I'm going to use a capo on the first fret. Um, here's the issue when you're, um, when you're converting um, a song that's written on piano to guitar. Some stuff gets lost in translation. Uh, I just think the piano is a more versatile instrument. Um, and with this song, there's notes in an upper register that if you wanted to recreate, you would have to put the capo on the sixth fret because you're gonna hear this. So the actual notes that you hear are, are an F, right? So it would be an F, a C, a C sharp, and then a B flat, right? And then they have like an add nine. So it goes from like a, um, a, a B flat to, um, to a, G to a G sharp. This is a G sharp, right? So, but when you play it up here, you're missing some of those lower underlying notes, some of the bass notes, because you would have to play really, really low, and it's just it's fucking hard to do. And the issue is it goes back and forth, right? It starts, it starts here. But then it, it drops. And then towards the end, um, after um, one of the choruses, it goes back to... So you can play it up here. It just, it, it, so, it actually sounds better with the capo in the first fret, all right? So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm basically gonna be playing a C, a G, an A minor, and then an F major seven, all right? 
when you hear the song, the intro and the first two verses, um, you're going to hear an F, a C, a C sharp, and then a B flat. Right? And then after that, you're going to hear an F, an E flat, and then a C sharp, and then a B flat. So when he's going... I'm going under in this time I feel. So the, the word time is a C. Um, the actual note, not in relation to the capo. So it's like, I'm going under in this time I feel there's no one to save me. This all or nothing really got away. So got is also a C. Got away and driving me crazy. And then it changes. I need somebody to heal, which is an F. Heal, somebody to know, which is an E flat. So it's like, I need somebody to heal, somebody to know, somebody to have, somebody to hold. Right, so it's like um, uh, a C sharp to, to a B flat. So I'll go back a little bit. To the FC, right? I'm going under, and this time I feel there's no one to turn to. Right? It's the same thing. And then it repeats F to C. And then the E flat comes in. F. the capo it's an e flat minor a b flat minor and a g sharp so with the capo it would be a, a d minor to an a minor um to a, a g where your where your third finger is on the uh, third fret b string but i think i actually missed a, a chord in there i think there's another um b flat let's try that again So it actually goes back to that B minor. So it's like, and I tend to close my eyes when it hurts. Sometimes I fall into your arms. I'll be safe in your sound. Come back around. Okay, so now. Now it goes back to the upper register. Another day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all Right, um, but again, you would have to 
you know, I don't know. Unless you're doing all bar chords, like. I don't know, which I, I can't do. My fingers don't stretch. You're better off just playing it on, on the first fret. So the ending, it, it sounds like they're just kind of doing this. Which doesn't sound great on guitar, so I just kind of pluck the uh, A, D, G, and B strings. With my thumb and first uh, three fingers. I was getting kind of used to being someone you love. Okay, so that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. Um, it was something new that I thought I'd try out. Hopefully uh, it worked. Any comments or requests, please leave in the comment section and don't forget to uh, subscribe. See you soon.